What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on Redmi K20 Pro and in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest MIUI OD version and this is the MIUI 14 based on Android 12 and this is the first March 2023 build. Well this ROM is actually decrypted by default so I did not need to flash any DFE separately. From the description you can just follow any ROM's flashing guide that should work perfectly fine. Even if you are decrypted you do not need the DFE again. And this ROM does not have the safety net passed so I'll talk about that later. Let's just disable the dark theme for the time being. In the my device section, this is how it looks like in the Android version kind of thing. And here we have the MIUI version as 14.0.1 and it shows version 1 stable and it is OD version. And if you tap here, it doesn't do anything. And if you scroll down more to get the more info, we have this detailed specs and stuff. And here the Android version shows as Android 12. It will give you the Android 12's Easter egg, security patch as 1st February 2023 I guess. Now talking about the settings panel, this is how it looks like. We have much more simplified settings I would say in MIUI 14 and here you will see on top we get the my device security settings and we have the search settings kind of thing, the search bar and if you scroll down more everything is simplified like there is the sim card, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection and sharing and stuff and we have this wallpaper always on display kind of thing, display sound settings, notification and control center home screen and we have this password and security, safety and emergency and the privacy protection is there separately. Then we have the battery, apps, additional settings and screen time and we have the account kind of things. Now in the additional settings you will get even more things like the accessibility, gesture shortcuts, quick ball, one handed mode, clear speaker and the front camera assistant, then the floating window, memory extension, second space, front camera effects, everything is here. And in this front camera assistant settings, we have this beautify for video calls. You can enable it if you want. We also have this clear speaker option. You can do it. And we have the one handed mode right here. Let's see. Yeah, it is working perfectly fine. Let me go back. Then we have this quick poll right here and you can turn it on and customize it however you want. In the gesture shortcuts, we have this partial screenshot and stuff. Turn on torch by double pressing the power button option is there. And you can enable it if you want. Then we have this take a screenshot with the three finger and stuff that is working perfectly fine. Let's talk about the home screen. This is how it looks like because I have customized it this way and here we'll get the folders and this is how it looks like the bigger double XL kind of size folders you can say and here let me actually show you this if you tap on edit folder there is this double XL enlarged and the regular option so you can customize it however you want this is a double XL folder so you can tap here to get to see all the things or you can launch a particular app like the calculator from right here. So this is really interesting. Also, we have this enlarged size folders. Again, you can directly launch a particular app if you want from right here. And the clock widget and stuff, everything is working fine. And you will get the newer widget panel over here. Plethora of MIUI widgets like the weather, then the app vault and the clock and stuff. And there are plethora of them like this battery widget and stuff. Like this battery widget that I have added over here is also dynamic. Then we have this other widget as you just saw the animation over there. So definitely the home screen does look a lot more different than how it was. Now the stock launcher is a little different from the stock MIUI launcher. Let me show you here in the more settings if I go. This is how the home screen setting looks like and there are plethora of customization for this. And this is a modified kind of MIUI launcher you can say. And we have this so icons in settings and stuff then the summary in settings. Then we have the animation speed. I would say just put it to fast. That's how the animation will be much more reliable. And here we have the disable all animation and stuff if you want that. And we have the gesture navigation and you can change that from right here. There is also this swipe up from the corner for the Google Assistant. But it's just not working I would say. As you can see I'm swiping up from the corner it doesn't do anything. We have this go back to previous app option if you want that. There is a minus one screen you can put it to app vault or the Google discover. Keep it on app vault because if you go with the Google discover the widgets in the home screen will not work. There is also this fold style app vault I didn't use it but we have the home screen layout you can actually change it with the app drawer and stuff and there is a customization for it like this background and stuff you can customize and the scroll bar normal MIUI things. And we have the new unlock animation. I have enabled that. You can lock home screen layout from here and the home screen layout, you can actually customize the grid and stuff from right here. As you can see, there are plethora of options, but I have been using it with the five by six. Then we have the search bar style and stuff. You can choose it from right here. And we have the search provider, but as you can see, there is the Google option, you can select it. And we have this transparent search bar, then the search bar blur and stuff. Then if you scroll down more, we have even more customization. You can see it from the screen. I'm not going to explain all of them. There are plethora of options. And in the arrange item in recent, there is this iOS style. You can just toggle it on from here. 
and we have this portrait task size and stuff you can customize that also there is the blur in recents and the other customization like this clear button style and stuff and we have this restart launcher option right here and with this iOS style recents panel it actually looks dope just notice how cool it looks it's one of the best things that happened over here and just notice this iOS style recents panel appearing animation and stuff they just look awesome. We have the show memory status, then the blur app previews and the restart launcher option and the show sessions. And you can also see the usage of memory from right here. And we have this floating windows. You can enable any app in floating window that you would like. It's all about the launcher, but again, we have this kind of app vault look and they definitely look cool. And you can add any other widget that you would like. Now here from the home screen, if you swipe up, you will get the app drawer, which looks like this. You can launch any particular app and there is a seek bar from right here. And here, if I just swipe down from the right side of the screen, it will actually show you the quick setting panel. This is how it looks like in the light theme. And it is very cool that we have this kind of brightness slider or like iOS and stuff you can see. And we have the music or the volume from right here you can control. By the way, the volume panel looks like this and this frosted glass kind of effect in the background if you're noticing looks beautiful and you can tap here to get the full volume panel experience. And this is how it looks again, the iOS kind of style looks definitely beautiful to me in terms of toggles you can add and edit multiple toggles but there is the wi-fi then we have the mobile data if you insert a vaulty sim card it will show up of course and we have the bluetooth toggle and you can tap here to see the bluetooth battery also it shows up on the status bar and we have the flashlight and the animation of the enabling and disabling toggle is very cool and we have the smart devices kind of thing you can add any device like the google home controls and stuff you can do that from right here the dark theme lock orientation dark mode screen recorder but this screen recorder does not work so i would say just use the normal miui screen recorder from the tools app from the tools folder and here we have the battery saver the do not disturb also i have added mode like the data saver hotspot nearby share screencast airplane mode reading mode the battery saver and the vibrate mode you can enable or disable it however you want and if you swipe to the right from here you will get the notification panel which looks like this now in the settings there is not huge changes i would say the always on display i would say it's not new they are similar to the like miui options which you definitely get in normal miui 2 these are the lock screen clock styles you can change from right here and in terms of the miui 14 wallpapers you get these options and you can just open on one and just slide like this and here we have the nature patterns they definitely look beautiful again then we also have the like ios kind of wallpapers i would say let me go back we have this molten glass kind of wallpapers as well and different colors for each of them and here we have this one stone kind of wallpapers i would say and here we have this system wallpaper and we also have these live wallpapers but it shows download option but it doesn't download i would say so that's how it is in the like more settings there is the super wallpapers but you cannot really download it i don't know why they are there but yeah that's how it is now in the display settings everything is almost similar but i have found a new option like this display resolution option you can actually change it to wqhd plus i don't know how it will work so yeah as you can see this is the wqhd plus mode that i'm using so that's how it is it will consume more battery with more resolution i guess but i just suggest use it with the fhd plus option and here we have this ai engine for the image enhancement and the hdr enhancement also we have this memc for videos and stuff while playing videos it will actually enhance the quality with ai so i have turned these features on in the notification and control center this is how it looks like we have this lock screen floating notification and stuff and the additional card options are there we can enable the smart home me smart hub or me smart play all these things and in the status bar we have this normal things like the battery percentage and stuff you can enable from right here in the battery section this is how it looks like and you can see the screen on time and stuff from right here aqua battery app that i have tested it with and let me tell you again with this aqua battery app whenever i show you the aqua battery app screen on time it is an estimated screen on time it is not what i have got actually but it is depending on the usage this is how much estimated screen on time i'll get that's how the calculation works i would say so here the screen on time it's about 12 hours so that's again insane number but this is again an estimated number and here we have the screen off or the standby estimated is seven days and even the combine use estimated as 32 hours so again a very good battery life i would say but let me tell you i have a brand new battery that's why i have been getting amazing battery life with this 
and the battery health you can see for me is about at 95% and even fast charging has worked perfectly fine you should not worry about fast charging on this ROM. Let's talk about the stock camera well you are getting the MIUI camera right out of the box and here of course there is the lens switching option like the ultra wide angle lens is working fine 1x lens is working fine also the 2x telephoto lens is working fine with zooming and stuff and in the video settings there is the up to 4k 60fps option that works perfectly fine if you switch to the 4k option and in the pro mode you do not get the video option you will only get the photo shooting option in pro mode which is a bummer because in evolution x you will get the leica camera where you can shoot pro mode videos without any worries and even in portrait mode let me actually show you yes it is actually working perfectly fine so there is not a problem or something with this so MIUI camera is perfectly working fine and if you swipe up here I have this mode thing selected as swipe up and here as you can see there is a documents mode, vlog mode, slow motion and the AI watermark all these things should work perfectly fine without any issues. And there is the gallery of MIUI and with this gallery app if you open a photo this is how it will look like and if you tap on the more things right now you will get this protective watermark feature that is really good and if I can show you so if you look up close there is this do not copy text but you can just change it to however you want if you're someone who leaks stuff randomly in twitter or something you can put your watermark on any image that you are sharing so this is really good uh, watermark feature is there right out of the box and of course there are these filters and stuff of MIUI so yeah I'm applying the sky filter on a windows wallpaper so that's really good and we have the crop then the normal filter and the other things like this text frame mosaic doodle everything is there you do not need to worry about it everything works perfectly fine here with the MIUI gallery features and on videos as well there is the compressed video settings and if you tap here it will show you the current resolution of the video then if you want to reduce the size it will actually show that how much size it will be from 54 MB it will go down to 27 MB and it will be 720p really new features I would say and there is the normal things like trim it and stuff like you can do the trimming of any video then we have this effects you can download these particular effects if you want them to add over here I guess so yeah this is kind of filter I would say and here we have this other things like the filters and you can put any other filter for color changing and we have this audio then the watermark feature is there as well and on the MIUI gallery app if you just tap on the three dots there is the video editor collage clip cutout art and this free up space and the settings option from right here in the MIUI notes app there are multiple things like this one we have this allow recording I guess and it's recording the audio the animations just looks dope I would say let's just pause it and here there is the gallery you can add any photo or something from right here and you can draw something if you want just like this this is a pencil or you can select any other tools like a pen or something so yeah you can change the colors from right here all these features are present by default and here you can expand it or just delete it from right here you can add a comment on it from right here the MIUI notes app is a really awesome thing that I have to say and of course you are getting the MIUI dialer from right here and it will have the call recording option and stuff if you are into that messaging app looks like this and it looks much more cleaner I would say and opening and closing a particular app the animation definitely looks awesome now in terms of the app settings we have the system app settings manage apps dual apps permissions and the app lock and here while I'm opening app lock there is the fingerprint scanner option this is a bug that I have noticed so here if I just tap to open the app lock settings yes it does open perfectly fine by the way let me actually show you that I have the app lock for fingerprints option enabled but still if I try to open a particular app it only shows me the pattern there is no fingerprint scanner option that I can use to actually unlock the app this is very weird it's simply disappointing over here on this ROM because you have to enter your pattern every time that you want to open the particular lock tab and in terms of face unlock and stuff let me just set up the face unlock so that I can show you the speed of it so let's just double tap to sleep on the home screen and let's just tap the fingerprint scanner and as you can see it has unlocked I have the always on display turned off by the way and with that the fingerprint scanner unlocking is very fast no issues whatsoever that I have faced and here let me actually do that one more time so yeah the fingerprint scanner is very fast again and let me just enable the always on display let's see by default what always on display shows up so this is the default one and double tapping to wake is working fine and the double tap to sleep both are working fine no issues and here if I just tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks perfectly fine even with the always on display and let me just show you the face unlock speed right now I will just swipe up and as you can see 
it unlocks let me do that one more time i'm just swiping up and yeah it is a very fast experience let's talk about the basic things yes the drm info over here stays as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p let's talk about safety net it's very buggy i enabled the safety net but still it shows failed as of right now but i would say if you want to get the safety net working this is what you need to follow you need to first flash the magisk and after that when you boot you need to enable the zgisk option and then you have to create a deny list then like add your banking apps that you would use then you have to flash a module which you can find from the links in the description this is a safety net fix module that you need to flash and after you flash that you just need to reboot the system of course reboot to system you have to again go into the magis cap then i guess re-enable zgisk and stuff and after that it should be passing your safety net it's a very like hectic process i would say so as of right now i won't recommend you to actually flash this particular rom to use as a daily driver because simply it does not pass the safety net test right out of the box and that is a very hectic process to actually get the safety net working even after when i have went through a lot of things like that it still shows failed right now i don't know how to actually get it working again so yeah maybe i could re-enable it but yeah it is a hassle definitely and in terms of google photos yes this rom comes with the pixel kind of unlimited backup feature so you do not need to worry about the google photos unlimited backup on this rom now let's talk about the overall performance yes everything is running at 60 hertz but the animations on this rom is amazing i would say everywhere and you are getting the newer miui 14 kind of animations i guess and with that everything like for opening and scrolling and stuff let me just open twitter again let's just scroll over here so yeah, the scrolling experience, it's pretty fine, no issues. And even while switching between apps, it's a very good experience. Also, the recent panel is a very cool thing that you will get a iOS kind of experience over here. As you can see how smooth it is while scrolling between these recent stuff. And everywhere, you will get much more smoother experience over here. And if you want to get an idea about the overall performance of the UI, these are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to get you an idea about the whole UI's performance. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the latest MIUI OD version 14 and of course this is a MIUI 14 rocking with Android 12 so the experience overall is good but then again you will have to bear with the like certain bugs with the early build like this that there is the safety net failed right out of the box and stuff and the super wallpapers are not available and things like that but overall it's a good ROM and you can definitely use or try it if you want and if you don't use your K20 Pro as a daily driver, then I can definitely suggest to try this ROM for the newer kind of look of MIUI 14 everywhere. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest MIUI 14 rocking with Android 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.